everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Tool A Week Guy. If you're new to the channel, we take a look at tools every week. So if you love tools, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So what is it that we're going to be taking a look at this week? Well, if you ask me, I went ahead and I did some research and I came up with this flashlight that goes on your hard hat, guys. Of course, we had already looked at the Milwaukee headlights, but I wanted to see what's out there. So I went ahead and purchased the Streamlight ProTech. HL USB headlamp model number 61307 as you can tell it comes in this little box right here so let's go ahead and open it now what's going to be included of course it's the instructions go ahead and put that to the side you're going to get your headlamp in here you're going to get a rechargeable battery inside also you go ahead and open this up put this you're also going to get a strap that connects to your hard hat that way it doesn't slip off and you're also going to get a micro usb to usb charger so go ahead and put this baby to the side and open up this right here you're also going to you're also going to get a flood filter right here that comes on and off let's go ahead and show you and you could just connect it right here to the side and you're also going to get uh, if you're hunt, if you're a hunter, or if you're in tactical, military, any case whatsoever, you're gonna get a green filter, and you're also gonna get a red filter. Hence the tactical flashlight. So, of course, guys, it's gonna be the headlamp right here. You're also gonna get a regular head strap. That's a three-point contact all around you. That way, it has a nice little fit. And it's going to be made of aluminum all around and it's going to have O-rings to make it waterproof tight which is very nice compared to the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee is made out of plastic and this is going to be an aluminum housing which is hence why it's going to be a little more pricier than the Milwaukee. Now of course the headlamp is going to be an IPX4 rated for water resistance from splashing water from any angle. And it's also going to be resistance up to 2 meters impact or if you're in the US that's going to be in st standard it's going to be 6.5 feet about. Now it's going to have a 90 degree tilt and it's going to hold in place right there so 90 degrees all the way around and the 90 degree tilt is to keep you from your neck fatiguing or cramping up in the back now it's gonna have the one-handed operation design your battery is gonna go on the same side over here let's go ahead and open this up and you have your one push button and you're gonna have your rechargeable battery that comes with it from Streamlight. so of course I'm a rechargeable person fan I really don't like to carry batteries because just if you run out you run out the only downfall on a rechargeable battery is if you run out of batteries you have to go and charge it but it beats charging it instead of having battery packs all scattered all around now that one push button is gonna be multi-purpose so let's go ahead and turn it on so of course your first setting as you can tell it's going to be super bright it's going to be really bright guys our, that's going to be our highest setting which is going to be 1000 lumens now it's going to last for about an hour and a half of continuous light as fully recharged and it's good and the beam is able to be seen up to 232 meters which is about 761 feet which is really neat guys it's crazy how bright it is compared to the other lights that I've had now of course for an hour and a half is not that much so depends what you're gonna be using it now the button's gonna be a multi-function push button right here which it's gonna be the 10 tap right here programmable so of course your first one like I said it's gonna be your head your highest beam so if you double tap it and then click it one two and then click it that's gonna be our medium right there which is still very bright guys now our medium setting is going to be at 400 lumens and it's gonna last about two hours and 45 minutes fully charged now you're able to be now the light's going to be able to be seen up to 147 meters or 482 feet in medium setting. Now of course the lowest setting is going to be you tap it three times right there. So that's going to be the lowest setting. Now the lowest setting is going to be at 65 lumens and it's going to last for 20 hours. Now 
at 20 at I'm sorry about that guys at 65 lumens you're able to see this light for 196 feet or 60 meters and like I said it's gonna last 20 minutes now it also has a tap 10 programmable so if you tap it 10 times it's gonna have it set at that at that parameter which is a very neat but if you ask me I kinda would have wished if it was just click it three times and those were your settings but of course be different and like I said it is gonna have a floodlight filter right there so now what's gonna be the damage it is a little comfortable and it is gonna be made out of solid aluminum which I think it's pretty neat it's a really nice headlamp that I really do like and I'm probably gonna be using this instead of my Milwaukee just because it's a stream light if you've never had a stream light I consider them one of the best lights out there but Again, that is my opinion, so whatever y'all think, if y'all know of any other brands for headlamps to take a look at, go ahead and let me know, and I'll probably consider taking a look at it. So the price for on Amazon, you're going to be able to find it for $81.18, and I forgot to mention, the weight is going to be about 8.1 ounces, so it's not going to be weighing that much, but again, like I said, it's going to be made out of aluminum, so it is a little beefier but of course that light is gonna do a huge difference with 1000 lumens as you can see super bright so that's gonna be it guys a few things that I wanted to mention is I'm planning to do a video let me know if y'all prefer a $50 budget or a hundred dollar budget Christmas gifts that way I could give you ideas on that so leave the comments leave the suggestions on the comments below and let me know what you think of the video and as always thanks for watching one total week guys